We started to talk a little bit about about lifestyle in the sense that, you know, you talk a lot about the fact that some of the CEOs that you manage, they they could be <coughs> sitting on a yacht somewhere, they they want. but yep. instead they're dedicating themselves to to growing their canvas, to painting their canvas. Um, what do you really? What is what is important to you from a work and life integration perspective? Yeah. This well, is a big question. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I I I love painting on my canvas. I'll always love it. I always have loved it. I mean, right. and you're lucky in life if you can find your passion. I tell those students, you know, uh, you may have to take a job or two. You, you, know, you got you got to eat, but never give up searching for the job that's your passion. Try to find the job that you would have if you were independently rich. That's the job I have. And when you find that job, the job that causes you to be excited every day and forget about the pay, uh, and where you associate with people you love doing what you love, it doesn't get any better than that. My partner Charlie is 89, and we were talking about that this weekend. You know, I'm 82, he's 89. We do what we love every day with mm -hmm. people we love, you know, and they seem to like us okay. So, <laughs> it, it, you know, it, it, how can it be any better? And just cost of living does not equate the standard of living. And the standard of living is, you know, achieving what you want to achieve, working with people that you love. And you don't need that much money. Aside, right. I love to ride around in a private plane. I will totally acknowledge that. Leave it, <laughs> leaving that out, you know, I basically, you know, leaving out taxes and charity and things like that. I can live on, easily live on $100,000 a year. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and I wouldn't live, I wouldn't live better if I had eight houses, if I had, you know, a 400 foot yacht or anything of the sort. I've, I've been on 400 foot yachts and I've been in a lot of fancy houses, but I'm in a house that I bought 55 years ago. It's warm in the winter, it's cool in the summer, it has everything I wanted, plus it has all kinds of good memories. You know, right. my, my kids have good thoughts about it. I can't imagine living any better. I, I paid $31,500 for it. I could pay $31 million for a house and, and it, wouldn't, it wouldn't do for me what this present house does.